a bit. All right. So today, I'm getting the error and loading a library like always. So I'm going to QL quick load Keppel with Mr. Baggers. And it loads, so no big deal. But then there's a examples repository. And when I try to load this thing up, uh, first off, you have to get clone it. So I believe Keppel's in Quick Lisp already, but then you have to get clone this into a directory that Quick Lisp knows about, which C users in your home directory. Quick list local projects is one place. The default one. Uh, so if I say quick load Keppel dot examples. Ooh. Examples, I believe it is, yes. And then it's looking for asimp or lib asimp. Uh that might stand for like asset importer or something like that. It is for, I think, exchanging like models. I'm not sure if it does what else it does, but I know like Lightwave and 3D Studio Max and different type of 3D formats just lets you import those guys, I guess. Uh, and I believe I already have this installed inside uh, MingW. So if you're not familiar with MingW, I did a video on this already, but uh, I'll also say like Pac-Man minus SS, S -imp, let's say. And then you can see this is installed already. Oh, I'm using a 64-bit one. And, you know, it's the same thing to install it except for you get rid of this S. So if you wanted to install that and you had Ming W or MSYS, so this is like Ming W64, and that runs on top of MSYS. I think this is MSYS2. I guess MSYS2 like this. Uh, so I don't think I need this open anymore. But if I was to say C, and then we say MSYS, and then go to mean W64, and then go into probably the bin directory, there's, first off, you can see assimp's already installed. And then uh, lib assimp right here. And sometimes these uh, DLLs do work, and sometimes they don't. And that lib free type, I think, was the last video I made that I was having trouble with. This DLL didn't work that was compiled with uh, Ming W. There are ways around that, but you have to like recompile it after changing some stuff. And I just downloaded it or something. So I'm going to copy that. And this is already in my path, but this is also in my path. So I'm going to paste this inside here. And the first thing I'm going to do is just to see if this will work. Uh, I'm going to rename it to same thing without the dash five because that's not one of the things it's looking for over here and see if this works so i think because this is in my path i should just be able to use this uh retry restart so i'm gonna hit zero i'm getting another error let's see uh i don't have that key cast on might, might as well turn it on i guess and if I make this full screen, I'm wondering too, because like it's working here. Does it work here now? Yeah, it does. I don't know why that one time it didn't. Oh, I didn't switch. Maybe that's why. Yeah, it's not working here. But I think that also might have to do with uh, it being split the other way. So I actually want this. Like this. I don't know why. I like my ripple on that side for some reason. Uh, but actually, I'll go like this because it's easier to read on this one. 
So trying to link against unsupported version of ASIMP 3.0 through 5.0 supported. And that one I'm using is, I'm using is a 5.2. So apparently I have the wrong one loaded. Uh, and then the back trace is right here. So I'm gonna hit control E to go to the end of this right here. And then right here, I think is where the file is. Let me look, Let's see if I can tell where this is. It's not showing me. I think there's a way to turn off this truncation from Sly. I know going down there is, I'm not sure if going to the right there is. But if I say like show source here, maybe. Then we're inside low level, which I'm guessing, is that we're showing that? Like, this is probably like, well, you can see right here at beta comma lisp. I don't think this is what this is though. I want to say this is going to be inside quick lisp. Uh, so let me just go here real quick. I'm going to open up Windows Terminal. Run Team Lux and then go to mount C users rivet quick lisp dist, I believe. And then it's probably quick lisp again because you can have different dists that aren't in quick lisp and then software maybe, and then maybe class imp. And then if I was to grab right here for, uh, what was that low level maybe? If I just look for level, then we see there's a low level lisp. So that's what I'm modifying right here, I guess. And that was the location for it. Uh, and this is for, uh, things that you're quick loading with quick lisp inside ribbit quick lisp local dist or is it local projects maybe local projects is where i'll usually get clone stuff so that's what that the keppel examples would be so if i was to go like this maybe cd i don't see uh same place users ribbit quick lisp local projects and then right here I could say like, uh, what is it, Keppel? So Keppel's not in here because it's inside Quick List, but this directory right here is a place where you can just download stuff. Usually I think you put your own projects in here. I just do all my Git stuff there. And then in C Common Lisp is where I put my own stuff, I guess, to keep those separate when I want to keep them separate. So the error I'm getting right here is it sees 3.0 through 5.0 and I've got version 5.2. And this is the area where I first came in here, let's say. So I'm gonna control X1 just to make this bigger. And then the first thing I notice is that I have two of these guys right here. And this is the eval win compile top level eval win compile top level load top level or execute i guess oh that's not that that's this it's a top level or execute i think um and then it shows different versions right here these are exact versions and the one i have is 5.2 it said so i'm just going to try to go like this 5.2 and then right here I'm gonna copy the format of these other ones since there's more of one, more than one of them. So I guess I'll just go like this, put the zero here, and then put a two here, I guess. And then I think it was twice I have to do this maybe. Yeah. So go like this, and then zero here, put the two here, and save that. Man, that was not a good thing to do, was it? Actually, what I'm gonna do is undo this. Uh, 
I'm going to control K that, control Y it, and then hit enter, and then control Y it, and then I'm gonna comment this one out. Just so the original's there. And I'll just do the same thing. Uh, I don't wanna mess something up because do I even know what I'm doing? So same thing here, control K, control Y, oops. Let me undo that. Control K, Control Y, I hit the wrong button. Hit tab so it reinvents that. And then just do that. And then do this one more time. Uh, control K, Control Y, Enter. Control Y, tab. And then comment that one out. And then Control X, B. Oh, control XB because I didn't change these guys. I think I did it right the first time and then so go like this. Go like this. And then uh just come down here real quick. I don't know, does it look uglier or cleaner if I swap those around? It doesn't matter to me. So control XB and I want to say this zero try recompiling is what I want to do because I need to recompile that uh, especially if there's already a FASL sitting there because that was a list file. So if you have a FASL and a list file it's going to load the FASL file but it might be smart enough to know if the list file changed to redo it or not. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm going to hit zero to try recompiling. And I'm getting the same error, you know, aren't I? And I noticed right there I didn't change this, maybe. I thought I did. Oh, probably because I redid this stuff. So that one looks correct, but this one is not, because I didn't put this here, which it probably would have been smarter to have done it like this, just so uh, it's easier for me to see that these are the same, but whatever. Uh, Control G to get all that. I'm just going to come down here and hit zero again. Class imp wrappers and bindings were compiled with different versions of asimp. Wrappers unknown. Bindings equal 5.2. Recompile wrappers and try loading it again. Uh, yes. So zero. I need to get back to my REPL, I guess, because I don't know what happened. And did that actually work? So let me just try to reload this again just to see what happens. Okay. So I'm going to close this. And this is the original one. And maybe I don't need that anymore either. And I'll just exit out of this stuff too. Uh, make this full screen. Do I want that full screen? I don't think so. Or does it matter? No, I think everybody can see this stuff. And then maybe I should have left the Firefox open actually. Or it didn't matter which one, but one of these guys. Cause I want to see the code here. And examples. So I know what to load. And then try to load some of these guys, I guess. So basic 3D objects.lisp. So uh, control X F. And then I think C users rivet quick lisp 
local projects, couple examples, and then inside couple examples, I'm inside examples, and then basic 3D object lisp. Control X two to split this way. Control X O to come down here. Control X B to get to my M rep on hit enter. And then control L to get away from the bottom of the screen. And then I wanna say when loading these guys, the first thing I have to do is uh I'm guessing Keppel is loaded since I did the example, so it probably has to load that. And then right here you can see the package this guy is. So I wanna hit Control C, Control K to compile this buffer here. And Control X O to come back over here. And then say N package, uh, Keppel. I don't know if I can, uh, yeah I can. So now I'm inside here. I think the first thing I wanna do is say like Keppel, Ripple, and then this will open this guy up. And it takes a second for it to load, it looks like. So now it's loaded. And maybe I will go like this with this guy. And then, actually, is there instructions somewhere? So how to run these. So I want us to do load slime, load the examples, do a Keppel rep, which I just did, compile the example. I think I compiled my example first. Make sure you're in the correct package and run run loop. And you stop loop to stop the demo. Safe way is clicking X will shut down current Keppel session. So I want to go back up. And then I got the code over here already. So I don't need to open that, I guess. And then it doesn't look like there's any buttons to push. So I'm inside the camera. So it said to do, uh, was it run loop? And so I wanna say I've seen baggers I haven't watched those videos in so long though, like years ago, where he's manipulating this stuff. It looks like my uh, repulse locked up. So I thought you were supposed to be able to like mess with the stuff while it's running. And maybe that's where like Sly's, uh, Sly and Ripple knew. Now I'm just gonna call it Hiccup. So it's something unique. And then, now I could interact with this stuff. So to try to load another demo, let's say, since I can't type over here, it's telling me the text is read only. So I could say, let's stop loop, I believe. And then notice it kicked me out of this, this stopped right here. So now I should be able to try this next one, let's say. Uh, if I do a control X, control F from here, notice down here, it's going from C program files, Emacs. So I hit control G out of that. The quickest way to, or the easiest way that I know of, is just to switch back to this file. And because these are in the same folder, I can do a control X, control F here, and I'm already in that. So I don't have to type all that stuff again, let's say. And then this one was a uh, basic geometry. And then notice this is in the same package right here. So if I say control C, control K here, it loads this file. And I wanna say if I'm over here in this uh, hiccup REPL that I have, the second one, that I cannot run run loop here. It might give me an error. Yeah, OpenGL signal 1282 invalid operation from gen buffers. So I'll hit Q to come back up here and the issue here is, I wanna say when you compile a file, that it's interacting with the original REPL that you opened up, which I don't know why it wouldn't run from here, but maybe because 
this is the one that started the Keppel REPL, then I need to use this one right here, let's say. So if I say run loop from here, hopefully it'll work, yes. Once again, it's locked up though. So I can come over here to this one and then I can say uh, stop loop and stop that. And then if I control X B back to either of these files, right? Then I could load another file. So control X F and then this one's called, let's say blending, blending.lisp. And once again, it's the same package. So control C, control K, control X O run loop. And then we have two separate boxes spinning. Uh, and then once again, see there's, like I'm not seeing any code to use a mouse or push things to make stuff change. These are just like so far demos that are running. Uh, so control X B to get back to hiccup. And then I'll stop. I don't know why I don't just do this. Stop loop. Alt uh, Alt P. Uh, control X B to get back over to one of these guys. Control X F. A lot of times I will open one and then control X B and close the last one, but I'm not really worried about having a bunch of files open at the moment. Now here is an example that doesn't have the camera. So notice if I hit control C, control C here, that run loop is not gonna run what I want. I don't even know what it'll do here. Yeah, just freak out. And I don't know if I need to come back over here and stop or not. So that one's hiccup, let's say. Uh, because, was it Bloom, the last one? Yeah, because when I hit Control CK here, I'm in a different place. So I need to say in package and then uh, Keppel examples. Oh, my, it won't tab complete, but it's because I misspelled it. Oh, maybe it just won't because I haven't done that. The name Keppel examples does not designate any package. Did I not compile that file? Maybe not. Yeah, I guess I didn't. Never mind. The dot. It was there the whole time because that's the thing I loaded to begin with. So now run loop. And that gets pretty bright. So same thing, I guess. So if I come back over to Hiccup, then I'm in the wrong package. So I'm just going to hit Control R and type in package. Hit enter. And then get rid of this. And then right here I could say stop loop then of course I stopped it when it's really bright and then I'll just do a couple more maybe one more one or two more of these bloom uh, compute cube map let's try the cube map and see what that one does so cube and then control C control K and then if I say Run loop. Uh, control X O, Control X B to hiccup and stop that. And then Control X B again, notice when I said Control C, Control K, if I did, I don't know. I'm in the wrong package, so control R is type in package and then hit control R one more time to get to the uh, camera and then hit enter and then run loop from here. And that's not doing anything, so there's several pictures in here. You can see here it's like some mouse angling right here, mouse, mouse callback mouse ing. So that probably means we can move the mouse or something over here. I wonder if we go like this. We can. It doesn't keep going, so we might be able to like just keep looking around by 
only remember I'll sleep if that's say so and then we're inside this one so if I get back to hiccup I'll need to say control R and in package control R one more time and then alt P alt B to stop the loop Uh, looks like that's a game of life. I'll try that one. So get back to one of these guys and say Control X F, game of life. This is without. So Control R, and then type in, and then Control R one more time. Enter, and then run loop. Yeah, it's running the. So I'm gonna have to say I did not compile that. I don't know why I'm having a trouble doing that. So hiccup, uh, control R in, control R, enter, enter, alt P, alt P, stop the loop. Control X O, control C, control K, control X O, control X B to get back to the M REPL where I can start it. Alt P to run loop. And then the game of life is running Else might, yeah, that didn't do anything useful. So I don't know. I don't know what this tessellation is. So I'll try that one and then I'll quit these guys. Uh, so click here, Control X B. Let's go to stop loop. And then Control X O, Control X F, test. Is that inline, I think? And then control C, control K, control X O, control X B, oops, control X B, and then control X B, uh, M, MR for M REPL. And then control R, type IN, control R one more time to get to the camera package. And then Alt P, Alt P, run loop. And hold on, that one's kind of dark. I think there was two of those. So this is inline and one without inline. I don't know, you get the picture. I'm over here. And that was the uh, control R and control R, enter, enter, alt P, alt P, stop loop. And then control X, O. I'll just do this other one just to see what happens. And dot less. Control C, control K, control O. I'm still in the that, so I can just run loop. This one's kind of blurry looking, I guess. Anyway, uh, let B to get to the hiccup and stop that. Ribbit.